Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Luis and welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. We are now halfway through the Paradise Adventure slash uh, Tropical Fair event and I'm, I'm will be showcasing a little bit how you can get the most out of it as a free-to-play player. So this event consists of a series of quests, like this one of, for logging in, this is completely free to play. We have the successful fighter in which you had to do uh, a bunch of fighting. So in the arena you needed to do <coughs> fights with 30 different players. So the, the best strategy would be to pick like three or four of the best and then rotate the, the other slots with heroes until you, you finish the fighting or hopefully if the server co cooperated uh, everyone will, would be lowering their teams and then you could do as much fighting as you wanted with any random heroes you had and when basically win, win those fights and in one two days finish the, the whole quest. So that's uh, very easy to do if, if the server cooperates. If it doesn't, it's a li little harder, but still it's quite free to play to do. Then we had we have here the, the Queen of Flowers and, and the ambitious personality about Ma Maya. We'll, we'll get back to that in a little bit. And we have the Spending Emeralds. This is not free to play if you haven't accumulated free to play emeralds, but... Um, Something between 500 emeralds and 1000 emeralds is feasible for, for many players as long as you keep receiving free to play emeralds. Now we have the chests and we have the outland and we have the soul stones. Let's try to go over this for a little bit and see how we can do this. So on the outland chests, you, you get, let's go back a screen, we get up to five fights per day that are entirely free. And then we can do, depending on VIP level, we can do five extra, I mean three extra. Or if not, and we'll do some now, or if not, you can always uh, go for uh, the opening chests. So the extra fights are 50 emeralds each, and that's, there's a, a maximum of, of uh, three fights, depending on the VIP level. So that's not free to play. Unless you're doing, uh, I don't know, uh, Valkyrie's favor for a long time and it's such a small cost and so important for uh, for the gameplay, that is almost not considered, <laughs> almost not considered um, pay to win <laughs> or pay to play <laughs> feature. But um, yeah, it's entirely up to you. I I I go with this uh, uh, Valkyrie's favor since roughly the start of my account and really helps me out a lot on, on many things. So if you're doing that, eventually your VIP level will increase. So every week, every every two weeks you get to renew that and with each renewal you get VIP points and then with the, with those points you can advance your, your VIP level and then as you, you are advancing you, you will get access to these uh, three extra fights. Okay, so that's that's one way of spending little and getting these extra three fights, and then occasionally um, spend it like like I'm doing now for fifty emeralds uh, each fight. The other way would be to open the um, the chests basically, and those cost eighty five um, eighty five emeralds each chest. So it's more expensive than these three fights of uh, fifty emeralds. So. Basically, uh, with 85 emeralds, you almost do two fights. So that's two two chests that you can open um, for a smaller cost if you're high enough in the VIP level. So the chests are here, and they will cost 85. Of course, now there's um, there's this promotion, this uh, this um, discount where you can open at a lower cost at a 55% discount. So. If you have accumulated some 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 emeralds like I did, you can you go go ahead and open some of these and get those um, get those rewards and make them count for the event. So the event specifically says here that you need to open chests, not win fights, open chests. So regardless if you are uh, doing those uh, three extra fights of 50 emeralds or just going for the 
the the the openings with the discount it's up to you if you want to progress on this um if you get if you do only three uh, only five uh, fi only five fights a day the free fights that's 15 chests you can open so you can advance just a little bit on on the quest if you do a fourth day by starting the quest uh, the previous day when it goes live but before the day resets you get an extra five you can you can do so you can go up to 20 but past that you need to start spending emeralds to to advance and and get more rewards okay so that's that's covered let's let's now go into into the tower so the tower the tower is let's go back in and check here the tower oops not this one the tower is is uh, also a bit tricky and you will need to spend resources like like in here so to get all the 50 outland chests i will need to spend resources definitely and the tower is also the same and why is that because if you can finish the tower every day and then you can open i believe um, 15 chests for free so if you do the tower three days that's 45 chests if you do the fourth day before the reset that's 60 chests but you need to open up to oops i'm in the wrong place you need to open up to 180 chests to get the full reward so uh, this of course will, will cost you some resources but you can try to aim for something lower if you're not willing to spend that much resources and so one way of doing that is, um, is opening those uh, i believe 15 free chests every day but then also open i believe it's uh, something like something like um, i don't know ex another 10 or something maybe a bit more i have 29 here already opened uh, but open those ones that are that cost 50 emeralds so each level and this also depends on the vip level because the vip level ga gives you uh, extra openings for that 50 uh, 50 emerald cost until level 26 in the tower and then after that it costs 100 emeralds so you're if you're willing to to spend some resources and get some advanced a little bit here uh, with the rewards then that's a way of doing it and keeping it a bit cheap so that's what we're going to do now and we're not going to open the the 100 emerald chests so we started we don't aim for that either <laughs> that will cost us dearly and we don't want to spend that many resources so we'll go here and open one free and then we will open two more so we have opened three and spent 100 emeralds okay then we progress and we just keeping keep doing the same uh, hopefully the rewards will be worthwhile as well if not well oh well now we just keep opening now we are at nine and spent uh, 300 emeralds there we go i'll just do the calculations at the end i have to reopen all these instead of uh, summing up every every time i'm making mistakes with that so my emeralds are flying away but i hope to get um, some worthwhile rewards with this maybe it's just a mistake but <laughs> you never know until you figure it out so i've opened the last the um, i've opened all the ones costing 50 emeralds and now these are too expensive for me and i open now one free and we'll just pause this a little bit here and we check now here on the event and i was at 29 remember so let's pull up a calculator we are now at 51 51 minus 29 i opened 22 chests so of these um 22 chests let's divide this by three um i had uh, seven seven f uh, free chests on the first seven floor seven uh, on the first 26 or 25 levels something like that and then the other the other the other 14 i believe so 14 plus 7 21 22 was the last the last chest i opened uh, the, the next 26 level so 14 chests 
were my expense and that's at 50 emeralds that was 700 emeralds let's see if the math adds up let's see in uh, where is it where is it mm, here so i i kind of forgot already <laughs> but i think i had something like oh yes i also spent uh, that, that's why i am mixing things i also spent emeralds on the outlands so i spent I believe um, 150 and so I had likely here 1,900 minus 700 minus 150 I had a, I had roughly 1,050 emeralds spent and now I have 1,900 okay so that's just we, we can keep a little bit of track and understand where we're going with this I received some more of these coins and we'll see at the end what these coins are for the gold shells and uh, as you can see here i can I've, i'm close now to um, one third of the full rewards which is still pretty far away and let's now do the rest of the free chests to see where these can position us so that's one one free chest there at level 26 and now we just fast forward this I'm, uh, by the way, if you are wondering why I'm opening chests and not doing any fighting past level uh, twenty tower level 26 and the reason is that I finished the tower long long ago basically at level at your account level 90 you are presented with the quest of doing um, seven or nine times the, the tower until uh, the end till the last level of the tower and if you do that um, in a row then you get or at least if you do that th those many times after you receive that quest then you you can start doing the, qu the tower uh, without fights so basically the normal tower when you're still doing the fights you do all the fights till the end or if you have succeeded uh, in in clearing levels of the tower the day before then you can start at where you have uh, last uh, stopped the tower and then when you finish the, the tower those seven or nine times after the count level 90 you don't need to do any fights actually you cannot do any fights that, that's completely out of equation and you just open the chests which is a uh, time saver really time saver so that's that's the end of the opening of chests in the tower and now we check how many how many more we have opened i'll collect these rewards here and uh, we we are now at 58 and we were before at uh, i believe uh, 50 exactly 50. so in total you're expected to open daily i believe it's 7 plus 8 15 exactly 15 chests like i i spoke earlier by doing the extra 14 per day um during this event at the cost of 50 emeralds per per chest you will get 29 29 times 3 gives you 87 just before the um, this reward here or if you do a, a fourth day that's um 29 times 4 160 just a little shy of this one so if you can do that do that you know try to try to aim for th these two either by the the the, the three or fourth day uh, of tasks and opening those those chests and you know we, we will spend emeralds of course but you can get extra coin here for the for the event and this is of course if you if you want to have this coin but i will explain in a little bit why you should be getting these coins or at least some of some amount of these coins so we did outlands we did the tower let's see what else we have in the list we have the the maya items so the maya items it's here or more specifically use items to uh, to uh, to um, promote maya and then we have the artifacts so i think until until uh, if you don't use maya and you already uh, progressed a lot in your account so my account is uh, a year and six months old so if you have progressed a lot and it doesn't matter 
so much anymore if you spend a bit of resources on other heroes just to get rewards for um, for a, a certain event a few times a year then uh, you can you can try to um, to get to get Maya's artifact the weapon artifact only that's all, all you need to do uh, till uh, two stars or three stars if you already have Maya evolved uh, you, if you use her then doesn't matter but uh, if you don't use her uh, until two or three stars it's um, I believe it's not that much of a cost and still give you uh, some rewards so um the calculations for this is each each uh, if you don't have the pieces each uh, of the fragments will cost 400 so that's 400 for the first uh, star and then you add times 3 for the second star so that's another 1200 and then you do times 6 for 3 stars so 1200 1, plus 2400 plus 400 that's a total cost of 4000 artifact coins plus chaos scores so i mean if you have a lot it's okay so that's what i will do here i will get her to 3 star artifact sadly i didn't get these artifact fragments on, on openings so too bad um well and i believe i already opened if not oh my bad <laughs> who knows maybe i'll get some of my i should have done this earlier forgot well let's open uh, most of these let's just save a few but i looks like i didn't get any anyways so i didn't lose anything with this didn't lose my ins my insanity. <laughs> I'm still insane. So Maya's uh, third artifact upgraded. Um, I mean Maya's weapon artifact upgraded to to three stars. With this, I can collect a few more rewards. So more of those coins. There we go, one thousand more, and the rest I will not do. It's just too expensive for me. Then we still have the item. So uh, I I have Maya at uh, uh, promotion uh, Violet plus one, and I thought I, I would leave her at Violet or Violet plus one. But I saw that it's not that hard to get her to Violet plus two. Then th that's where I will stop. Then so I need basically these items here. That's very low level, and I have hundreds, so it doesn't matter. Then I need uh, these ones. And I already purchased one piece from a vendor, one of these and one of those, so I can make one of these items. Well, for the other one, I will need for the, the merchants to refresh and have the items there so I can buy them or otherwise and just uh, go go try to loot them with energy. So these are these are um, these are blue items. You can find them in the tower. I'll just show you where I got them. A tower merchant and um highway merchant. So I found one here, I found another one here. Sometimes you might find here in the arena. And as long as you or even here in the town shop, as long as you get those items from these four shops, it's really inexpensive. But if you're spending um skin skin outland coins or grand arena coins or or these i mean it's not worth it don't do that okay just stick to to these four less expensive shops and try to get those items if you plan on uh, um, promoting my a little bit so you can get re extra rewards then that's an option or the option don't evolve her i mean don't uh, don't, uh, don't uh, promote her up to you so i will do i will do this so i need to get one more set of these then i have um one of these rings let's check here the stats i have one of these rings but i don't have one more and i need one more ring i have this one already built as well but i need one more ring for oh no actually yes i need one more ring here and also one of these candles so hopefully by tomorrow I should be able to collect those items and then um, 
and then promote Maya to Violet plus two and get extra rewards. So I will leave it out for tomorrow. But that's the, the logic here. If if you use Maya, invest. I mean, <laughs> that's the best time to invest if you use Maya. If you don't use Maya, you can you have the option of investing a little bit to get some rewards or not investing up to you. Okay, so we collected some. And now the last thing I want to talk about is the soul stones. So the soul stones, no, oh, and let's also see a little detail here. So you see that this is a one time, a one time quest, one time quest, one time quest, again, again, again. And this one, the Outland, is repeatable at a big, a big cost, but it's repeatable. And the soul stone is also repeatable at, but at a big cost as well, because each of these repetitions will you need to have you need to collect 500 soul stones so that's a lot but you can get a lot of coins with this for this event and if you have accumulated some resources chests and things like that like i did then it becomes a bit more easy and as as we see here i do have quite a lot quite a lot of those let's take Let's take time to ponder on this, but I believe, I believe what I will be doing here is basically spending all, if not, if not all, most of these um, caskets and dolls. Okay, let's start with these silver caskets that you collect daily with those um, with those uh, uh, gifts that they, that they post on, on Facebook and etc. So let's open this uh, 24 and see if there's any souls in here. Uh, we got some energy and some souls. So Lilith, Arachne, more energy and some artifact chest keys and Dorian. More energy, Dorian. So in Maya as well and some Titan potions and some XP potions and, and runes as well. So we got uh, a bunch of uh, rewards here. Some emeralds too. We saw there's some emeralds. And now I already have a lot of energy <laughs> there. <laughs> so it's um it's a good time to spend that energy now before progressing. Let's see of the heroes that I that I have left to evolve to six stars, where can I spend energy to collect souls? Let's see, Artemis, I think I already did this all this today, yeah. Um Pepe. Exactly the same. So now now next in line will be the twins. The twins and that's all. Okay, let's go for the twins. Like some soul stones and items like candles, I like that. And uh, this one is also useful for me at least. And here, I believe, yeah, these ones. I will need these ones for Orion. Let's now collect for Krista. So these ones, and I need these for Nebula, yes. Oh, those pyramids. I need those pyramids with the eye for, for Celeste. And uh, here I need these ones for, for Galahad and Kira. And these ones for Orion and Astrid. So that's most of the energy spent. Um, I mentioned that I needed uh, rings and um, candles. So rings are the... Uh, uh something something pastor seals pastor seals yeah and the candles are the end of glory <laughs> yeah so where can we get these and get also soul stones i believe i believe one of these is connected or was it or was the yeah i think it's the minor towers and the candles and this one's connected with the aurora aurora Exactly, Aurora can get this tree. So I'll open this because I need candles. So the um, end of glory, end of glory, yeah. So I spent some there. Let's see if I have also uh, extra energy. No, I already spent 50, 
the cheaper uh, times two fifty emeralds that gives me one hundred twenty emerald em energy times two. That's the cheaper one. And let's collect some rewards here. And now I'm at seventy six of a hundred. Let's see what else can I open. Let's see. We're now going to open. Um, I wonder what's in this. I forgot. So this one's the trick box. Trick box I think was for Isaac and mechanical chest for ginger or fox. I forgot. Let's open this. So mechanical chests gives us XP potions, titan potions and coins for, for vendors and this one contains orange artifact and blue artifacts. And I guess there's also purple but I didn't get any. So that's seven, eight mechanical chests, no souls. Then we have here um, these ones, 102 trick boxes. And this was for the engineers event. So I'm getting uh, soul stones for the, the heroes of that event. Let's see what we collected. So there devil, ginger, more boxes and um, Astrid, more boxes, XP potions, boxes, Fox, Astrid, more boxes and Fox and Astrid, more boxes, Arachne boxes and Fox, uh, it just keeps repeating so I don't think we get Isaac's souls from this, I was thinking maybe but not really. So it makes me potion. That makes sense because the event you need to do some certain quests to get coin to buy the to buy uh, his evolution. So it would make sense to uh, to also get uh, his soul stones. So basically, it's all we get here is XP potions, souls for the engineers, and uh, more boxes. Nothing else. But it's all good. It's all good. So. All right. So 102 turns into 94. Oof. So I'll just now I'll just uh, fast forward this because it's more the same. And now 94 turns into 78. And 78 turns into 52. Fifty two turns into thirty two. Oh, we received gold there. I don't think we received gold before. And now twenty four, twenty six, twenty two. It looks like we're getting a lot of souls here. So it was a good good choice to to save this up for this event. Twelve. By the way, uh, in um, another month or so, we should be getting a new hero. So make sure you also save up some resources for that event. Because you, who knows, maybe the rewards you can get on that event or the, the hero would be useful for you. You have to see by, by yourself. But just in case, do save up some resources for that. So we were at 76 and now we can collect. And we are... Oh, well, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so we we had 76 we received 384 souls just with those 102 trick boxes that converted into so many trick boxes now we are just 40 soul stones away from the 500 mark great so we can still open some more so we have these for Heidi, these ones for Kai, these ones for Astrod, for Mojo, for Nebula, for Chaba, for Maya and uh, uh, Artemis. And we have here for Astrid and Arachne and Corvus and Morrigan and um, Phobos. So, and these ones are not about soul stones, so it doesn't matter. So now I have really the choice of, I don't know, um, not spending more of these and save them for the next event and instead get the remaining 40 here so 40 would be eight eight purchases like one here 
two, three, four, five, six. It's, it's feasible. Anyways, I will ponder on this later. This is a private decision. But you get the point. You can achieve these rewards w w like this. So I'm just a little shy and, uh, of, of this goal. And it's... Um, with my stockpile of resources, it's completely possible to do this as a free-to-play player. To get, I mean, the rewards from the soul stones. For, from those first 400 or 300 or 500 at least soul stones, you can, can get those. If you want to repeat, that's extra resources. So... I'm gonna save those now and I wonder now how much coin do I have for the event I'm not sure it shows here, it shows here we have 14, almost 15,000 coin gold shells now where can you spend this and and on what can you spend this? you go here on the tropical fair icon and you go here in the tropical shop and you will see that you can trade this for Maya's treasury and this contains Maya souls and other rewards so if you're trying to get Maya to 6 stars this is a way of progressing that however Maya I believe Maya is also available on the shop yeah exactly so you can also get Maya from the shop from the vendor here so I'll, I mean um, unless you are really wishing to get her to 6 stars quickly as possible I wouldn't recommend spending the coin there because you can get other interesting rewards here. So skip all these blue items and skip most of these purple items. If you really need one or two, I mean, it's an option. Like getting this one, this, this book of prophecies takes two, takes uh, two of the, this book of tales. And this book of tales take uh, two of the pastor seals uh, something like the candles, the end of glories, I'm not sure. So this takes a lot of time. So it's a possibility getting some of these book of prophecies. And the diviners are they also take uh, lo lots of items as well as the traitor's crown. Traitor's crown takes less, so it's not that difficult. But these two, they take some resources of the of the purple ones. I mean, maybe the book of tales. I wouldn't I wouldn't get anything other than these from the purple tail from the purple items the all seers and let's just take a look of on those and i think those are not that difficult the all seers where can we check on that i'm not sure i have any of those built i don't have those built here but maybe i think maya was maya had one of those items so the crown takes just a ring and um, a, a end of glory, so that's not that difficult. And uh, I don't know, what can we see? Ah, yes, here. The all seer takes three of takes tr two of these, so one 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 ring and one end of glory, but also one of these, the um, pipers or something. Well, what's the name of this? Ah, can, uh, the, sir, uh, the siren song which take also this so uh, it, it starts to be more uh, effective to get those and the diviner's orb take takes the the end of glory plus these ones the recipes and then takes one of these the uh, trine which take one of each of these so this is uh, cost effective in the at least in the purple items that's cost effective so you can you can save a lot of time by getting those so the the Book of Prophecies, the Diviner's Orb, the All Seer, maybe the Book of Tales. Okay, then we move to the orange items, which are of the high highest value. These recipes here, they're not so difficult, except for the uh, the recipe for the Book of Fate, the recipe for the Panoptic Orb. So this this one, these three ones, you, you can skip. Maybe this one will be worth it, but the the prophecies and the the orb, you get those so so often. Just skip those, uh, but consider the these other two. Now for the for the orange items, so I mean the um, alchemist set, Lamort's map. Lamort's map is being advertised as a really good one, good good rewards. And Enigma's Chronicles. These three are worthwhile, especially the Lamort's. And uh, alchemist set is often often used in tanks and 
critical hit heroes. I think like, like uh, I mean, I think like Jet and, and Daredevil. I think they they require that. So these are possibilities here. Um, the River Stars Tiara. Let's just to take a look at my inventory. Is probably not something you need um, that much. So probably not worth getting with that coin. So Tiaras. I have four hundred. Yeah, you can speculate that it's more easier to get the, these tiaras, these uh, ancient chains and these pole axes than any of these and you tend to use more of these so the enigmas, the alchemists and the lamorts, especially lamorts okay let's look a little bit more on what we have here as offers we have this tree and all of these three are very much used so Let's take a look at, uh, at these three. I think less the oracles, but let's take a look at these trees. So, for example, we move here to, to Astaroth, and Astaroth needs needs these ones. That's clappy stuff, okay? And as I was saying, he also needs the alchemist set. And then, and this is oh, he uses the oracles cleanser, oracles. Uh, not this one, this one. Oracle sensor, not, not, not cleanser. <laughs> then we have um, Orion, and Orion takes at least the um, the promotion before. He, he takes the this pyramid, the all seeing eye. Okay. And then we have uh, uh, Celeste, also takes this all seeing eye plus the enigmas there. And uh, let's see, Daredevil doesn't take any of these, I think. And um, let's move a bit more in the list. So Lamorts and Enigmas there. So you, you get a point, uh, more Enigmas there. So the, the most cost-effective orange items, and we'll do now a, a sum up of that, would be the All-Seeing Eye, the Asclepius Staff, Maybe the Oracle Sensor, I'm not sure on those, I haven't tried to get those yet. And then the Enigmas, Lamorts and Alchemists. That, that's the orange, orange, the most cost-effective uh, orange items to get. Then for the purple, let's, let's recap that. Panoptic Orbs and Book of Fates, maybe Siren Song, but not Book of Prophecies and not Diviner's Orb. Then Book of Prophecies and Diviner's Orb, Orb maybe Alseer, maybe Book of Tales. But not Traitor's Crown, not Talisman, not End of Glory, not any of these other items, okay? And the orange items maybe skip on the ri River Stars TR, okay? And then we have the, the Skin Stones, which are always a good investment. So that's it uh, that I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this and that this was um, informative, that you gained some, some knowledge with this and you can make um, better decisions, uh, uh, hopefully, uh, on your... Um, on your day-to-day -day jobs and and events like this one and so I, I hope to see you around and if you like this video please please subscribe and put a like <laughs> if you didn't like you can always leave a comment a dislike and explain why this video sucked and what you think I should improve so uh, look, looking forward to see some constructive criticism and I'll see you out there good luck and bye bye